I've heard when it comes to venereal diseases, the wealthy people are so wealthy, they don't get crabs, they get lobsters. You're an idiot. Just Do you have a preference to lobster versus crab? I like them both. Yeah. I don't eat them. Because if you get Alaskan king crab legs that are big mamba jambas, yeah. they're pretty comparable. But I don't, I mentioned this before, I don't like eating things that look like they're alive self. And so breaking open the crab leg is not something I enjoy doing. Oh, uh, gotcha. Uh, I, I have had, had both, and I love both. I think they're both delicious. They are delicious. I actually... Uh, I just, I don't like doing that. I've had... It's just like I don't eat eating the wing off the bone. I don't like doing oh, it. Oh, so it's the same kind it's of deal the same there. thing. I don't like doing it. So the lobster out of the tail would be easier than the crab out of the leg. No, the legs are pretty easy to get the meat at. No, I meant as far as you being no, able to I actually, mentally get beyond it. No, I think the, the legs are easier than the, the leg is easier. Yeah. Easier I, I would say that with Alaskan king crab legs, oh, they're massive. This, they're massive. Yeah, there's a great place down near Long Beach called Captain Jack's that makes Captain Jack Sparrow. Incredible crab legs. Um, anyway, anyways, what are we doing today? Is we're it doing a food, a food video? video? Yeah! This, oh, that worked out perfectly. Uh, this is uh, Ch uh, Ch Chennai Amazing Street Food Tour. Great. This is a very interesting and mouth watering tour of street food in parts of Chennai. They have covered some nice food joints. Maybe it will help you, uh, help yes. you in your food tour visits in, in Chennai. Many of these stupid babies have been messaging and commenting on things regularly and asking, when are you guys coming back <laughs> to India? When are you coming to Calcutta? We'd love to. Do you know what world we live in right now? We're, ever, not, we're not allowed in. <laughs> ever, literally, two weeks after we got home, from the last trip, which was in March of yeah, 2020, 2020 yeah. e-visas were no longer issued to Americans to come in and it's been that way ever since. Yeah. So once India starts allowing us back in as tourists, we'll come back. Yeah. And it's not just India, it's most No, 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 yeah, it's not just it's India, it's all over the world. Right. Here we go. We're in Chennai, India, and this place has the most incredible food. So we're taking you on a huge food hunt today. British? We're hunting down Chennai's oh, best so street food and some local neighborhoods to bring you some mouth-watering Indian street food. This video is part of our huge India series and we're exploring some of Chennai's most Ooh. dynamic spots to bring Briani? you the best food the city like to work on. Make sure you watch right to the end of this video kind of because we don't want to miss any of this amazing food. I'm Thomas. And I'm Sheena. And we're tasting the place. We hope you're hungry. Let's eat. I am. I am hungry. I actually am hungry, yeah. That reminded We're me of the scene in Briani. And this part of the beach yeah, is lined with fish restaurants, so let's go and get us some fried fish. Oh. Oh, that's going to be amazing. Oh. Don't like that. Look at that sizzle. Now I'm gonna watch fried fish for dinner. Long John Silver's. <laughs> I haven't eaten a Long John Silver's. I haven't heard of that in a long time. These stalls are brilliant. They keep harboring the beach. It's packed with people down here. And there's plastic chairs all over the sand. So you just sit on the sand, put in your order, and your fish comes out. And the fish is all lined up in little cabinets oh, wow. in the front of the stalls. And there's a pretty good variety. So we've ordered a mackerel, which has been fried, and some anchovies, some little whole anchovies. Nice. So both of those have been covered in spice. They were already marinated in some spice yeah, when they went onto the hot plate. They got covered in a dry spice mixture. Like really covered in that dry spice mixture. And then a ton of oil was thrown onto the hot plates as well. And then they've just been left to shallow fry in that oil. And then it's particularly the mackerel. It was really flaming up around the side of the hot plate and you can see the little bird edges on the tail. So there was a lot of heat going on. never had a fish that looked like a Fish. And the anchovies first, and both of really? these have come with some not. fresh real onion and a little wow. slice of lime. Put some lime onto these anchovies. 
Give it a little zing. That's it's probably the worst. Red onion. Like a, a, a crab a leg or a handful of that's the worst. anchovies and red onion. Also, I don't really like fish that much. So sorry. Oh. Wow. If fish that's was my only protein good. source, I'd be thrilled. Mm. All the texture in the anchovies because it's all the bones are small. I don't think I've ever had an anchovy, honestly. So you get the little branch yeah, of the bone, but then very soft. Gotta be so careful with anchovies. Into your mouth or anything. And the, the outside is a little They're bit good. crispy because of all that spice mixture. From the can? The oil, it's gone Strong. a little crispy on the edge. Like sardines are better out of the can than anchovies. Inside is just super soft still, so they're really well cooked. Let's grab some more. I think big handfuls of these at once is the way to go. Mm. Oh, a little bit spicy from the chili. Just a lot of flavor though. Fresh. Mild spice. Refreshing. The sweetness, the onions are a bit sweet. The, the lime gives it a good edge, a little bit of sourness. That was an awesome beef snack. Wow, that was a good beef snack. I'm going to try the mackerel. I'm going to rip off some of this mackerel. So it's a very oily fish, so it should be really moist flesh. Wow, that peeled off so easily. Boiling hot, we put some onion on there, squeeze of lime all over it. Let's get that down. This flesh feels really, really crispy. It's about eating fish with the bone. The skin's are really crispy and the flesh feels really juicy. Wow. Oh, yeah. That is amazing. Really, really well cooked. A little bit of crunchiness on that flesh. Oh, the skin. I get my flesh and skin wrap. And then the, the flesh is just super, super juicy. Onions are getting a little bit of freshness and crunch. And the spice mixture is great. It's really gritty. It's a really thick spice mixture. So it's got a good bit of chili kick. But it also adds texture, which I really like. It's adding a bit of crunch to the bit. Now I'm loving that mackerel, but the anchovies are what is just... Oh, they're just heaven. They're so good. So another big handful, they're a little bit oily, got some of that onion. Oh man. The, the taste of those and the location, you put that together, you can't be better. The sound of the ocean behind me, the waves crashing on the beach, feet in the sand, oh, that flavour just Nobody the perfect in sea flavour, nice and <laughs> salty, the good spice. This is the perfect, perfect combo. What a cool thing to be able to do in Chennai is sit on the beach and eat this fresh fish grilled on the hot plate. Wow. 
attended this meeting, so look, I'm barely prodding it, and it's just falling apart. It's coming clean off the bone. Look at that. Clean off the bone. Holy moly. Okay, let's get some tomatoes. Wow. <laughs> Slapped virtually. I guess maybe because it went to breakfast as opposed to street. No, 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 stop it right in the middle. And here's a really nice idli. I've made idli. How'd it turn out? A delicious. Turned out nice? But you actually, and so I have a idli stand. So it's a specific stand. For, for cooking the idli. Just idli. It's an entire thing that you put, because you steam them, you put right, them in the thing. Right, right. But it's, I literally have a an contraption. Idli stand. It's literally just for Italy. That's and, funny. And it takes up so much room. Um, but yeah, they're delicious. Oh, what I was going to say was, you want to be impressed. You should watch Indrani and probably any Bengali eat fish. Because the way she can navigate through and eat the meat and leave the bones behind is a work of art. Mm. It's a work of art. It's like, I've eaten fish with her and I'm like, and I look down and she's just like a cartoon. 
it's been completely stripped and the bones are still all intact. And she's like, no, I don't do that. Yeah. So you've never eaten a fish with the head on? No. The fins? I absolutely wouldn't. Wow. It seems gross to me. Well, that's how they, that's the natural. I'm, oh, I'm that's aware. It came out of the water. But it's the same thing with the lobster and the, the whatever. Have you ever been fishing and killed fish and then eaten the fish you killed? I didn't specifically cook the fish myself. I okay. Guess I have. But when they did it, they chopped the heads off and the tails. Yeah, they did and... it on the boat in front of me. Okay. Because it was when I was a child in Hawaii. I caught a big old uh, mahi-mahi oh, I... mahi about that big. So you wouldn't eat fish head? No. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't like fish. Uh, although I have had some good fish. Because in, in my older age, I've decided, like, I, I will try almost anything. Because I'm like, I I don't think I'm that picky, but there's a few things. The taste. You're of, definitely not a picky eater. That's the, true. The taste of stuff that is fishy is one of and the texture. Most, yeah, yeah, but like if if a fish tastes fishy, it's I I will I could vomit. So do you like oysters? Uh, I think I had one of my dad's. We were at a fancy restaurant when I was in South Carolina yeah, you a should, month ago. It was good. Yeah, you. That should, was probably the first time I ever had an oyster. You would like a, textured though. It, it's like a. Um, like a, a snot ball. It's a little slimy. Yeah. Yeah, but if you get really good oysters, because there's a lot of different oysters, and the more expensive ones are the bigger that's what, ones. That's what I've found. Yeah, the that, bigger oysters are the more The more expensive or, or fresher yeah. uh, a fish is, the better it is, and the yeah. less fishy it will taste. That's what I found. Because I I didn't like sushi, but uh, I've gone to sushi restaurants with my family, and they all love sushi. Um, and for the most part, I there's still some fish on sushi that I can taste it, even mm. though they can't. Yeah. And I, it just, it, it, mo it literally makes me want to vomit. That flavor and then uh, artificial cherry flavors repulse me. Oh, like repulse the, me. In the drinks? Drinks, the other candy. waxy candied cherries. Yeah. I detest those. Like uh, maraschino I, cherries. Yeah, I is think one they're of nasty. The most repulsing. I feel like I'm food. eating something 100% artificial. Yeah. Never should have occurred, but yeah. fish, man. But anyways. Yeah, of those two things, as much as I like mutton biryani, if I had to choose between those two, if we were there, I'd be at the beach. 100% mutton biryani. I know, you'd be at the biryani, I'd be over at the mutton beach. Mutton biryani the fish. on the beach, but not the biryani from the film, biryani. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime I see somebody making biryani, like, out in the open, I'm like, oh. I want to see more speaking. Now Is there a baby that, in that? I want to see more of... <laughs> That actress and that yeah. one, she was so good. Yeah, she was so good. Yeah. Uh, anyways, let us know what other food videos we react to, and where, sh when, wherever we come, we're coming to South India. So probably Chennai will be in that stop. It's a massive town in the south. And should we eat there? Uh, so let us know where we should eat down below. Juice.